Hey there, Glowforge friends. I am Mike Harmon, or HL My Deck, and I've got a project I'm going to share with you all. Uh, I'm going to call this the Laser Cut Flyer. And I'm using it with my students, but I'm sharing it with you guys because the more people that are attacking this project, the better the results will probably be. So what I'm doing is in Tinkercad, we are designing the body of an airplane, or the fuselage, and we're de designing wings. And then the goal is to see if we can create the ultimate laser cut flying machine. Now right now you can see that my flying machine <laughs> does not fly well at all. But this is where we keep tweaking and adjusting and finding different ways to attach our wings and so on and so forth as we make it. So I'm in the ballpark, but it's just not perfect. I also have propellers so that eventually we'll be able to turn these into propeller driven craft or maybe even rubber band launch. But the world is full of options. It's up to you and it's up to us to find the right ones. So at this point, let's move to the software make your own laser cut aircraft to test in your own house. So friends, I am creating my cardboard flyer in Tinkercad and I'm gonna open my former one that I made and I'm gonna show you how I got to the first prototype or really the fourth prototype if you're paying attention to the numbers. So let's first start with the grid. Um, I took the grid and edited it so it was 400 wide and 200 high. I always measure in millimeters it's just because that's how I like to build. You can see this is my airplane body uh, 190 or 19 centimeters long. Now that ends up being kind of short you know so if I were trying for another one I could just simply stretch it out and you can click on the box and type in a new measurement as you experiment. I don't want to wreck this one though, so I'm going to do Control Z to undo that back to where it was. And I'm going to go back to my main Tinkercad page now that I've shown you where I built it. And I'm going to mess with a copy of it. Doing that is as simple as clicking the gear and choosing Duplicate. Once you launch the duplicate, I'm going to change the name to Jet 5. And I find this is smart because you never know when you're going to find a setting that you wish you hadn't changed. So once again, I'm going to click on my jet. I'm going to change that to the 250 that I mentioned a moment ago. I'm also going to ungroup it. So you can see that this was really three parts. I brought in a box and I just stretched it. So you can see this is just a flattened round roof. When you bring the round roof, notice that it is not oriented the way I needed. All you do is when you click on the shape, I like to use this view cube, and this lets me rotate it using those chunks. And then I can also look at it from this corner, and I can rotate it to the other direction. Once again, staying close to the shape, so it uses these long lines. If you move out here, it goes one degree at a time. And then simply move it using the arrow keys to get it where you want it to line it up. I wanna take my tail fin on version five, and I want to make it larger. So I'm going to select all three of these. And to select in Tinkercad, all you have to do is touch them. So right now there are three objects selected. And I'm going to move it down here. I'm going to grab my wing. I don't want to stretch it. I'm going to do undo on that, which is also control Z. And I'm going to move my wing. I'm going to click this blue piece and check out this amazing fit view to selection. It snaps right to the spot. Then I want to raise that up, but I want to cut it off. I want it to have a flat fin up top. So I'm just going to bring out the box, stretch it to the spot I want it to cut from. I'm going to group all these pieces so that my body of my plane is complete again, or my fuselage. I want to have a groove for my tail fin, so I'm going to add that real quick. If I double click this tail fin, it'll let me go in and look at the shape. And then I can check this width. See how that's three millimeters thick? So I want to make another box that's three millimeters thick. You can just type the numbers or you can squish it at will. 
And then I want to be able to push that in as well. I lost my three, but I'm going to just retype it. Push this into the location I want my tail fin to be. And then I can group it. Now, do I know that this is going to be a perfect plane? Absolutely not. This is where it becomes fun while you guess and test and make your own planes. Uh, I'm going to add weight to the front of this with clay. I noticed with my plane, I wanted the length to be more. So I'm going to stretch that out. And if I want to make it even larger, remember I can edit my grid. And I can change this to 300 as well. And update the grid. And now I've got even more room to make my wings longer and wider as I create them. So with my new parts built, it's time to send them uh, to your Glowforge. I use the export command and I make SVGs with the selected shape. I'm creating my Jet 5 fuselage out of cardboard. And then I so store all of my parts in a special folder on my Dropbox so they travel with me. Right now it's called Keychains, but that's just where I put them all. So there's the Jet 5 fuselage, export, SVG, Jet 5 tail. And then last but not least, the Jet 5 wing. I'm experimenting whether to use hot glue or tape or different ways to attach the wings. But that's what I hope is going to be fun is that we can all come up with different ways to solve these problems and then share them using all the different social media so we can create the best laser cut flyers ever. So let's export that last SVG and we'll call it wing. These wings I'm printing out of a tag board kind of cardboard so they're a little bit thinner and now I'm going to send them to the Glowforge and let's get our settings set and see what we made. So with my designs completed I am now in the Glowforge app and I'm going to upload my files. Notice it goes right to my keychain folder by default. I'm going to make my life easier by sorting by date and I am going to print the wing and the tail or I'm going to cut the wing and the tail at the exact same time. So here's my wing. Let's bring it in and place it over here. That looks like an acceptable location. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. And then I'm going to add the tail fin. And then I'll do the fuselage out of regular cardboard in a moment. Place these so they use my paper as wisely as I can. And then for settings, this is one of my favorite things. Pick a strategy for saving your different styles of cutting. So this is three passes at 125 speed and 80. This is whiteboard one. I'm going to check whiteboard one. It was a speed of 200 and a precision power of 20 and two passes. I think when I tried this at the last uh, attempt, I needed to bump it to 30. So I'm going to save that with the same name and I'm going to use whiteboard one to cut both of these items. So I just click whiteboard one. It shows me the 230 and I'm good to go to hit select material. It asked me what I'm using. So I'm going to do the material height and I'm going to do uncertified material. And I'm going to type 0.125 because it's less than a quarter of an inch. Got my print button hit. It's scanning the material and I'm going to go upstairs and press the button. All right. So those cut out fine. And you can see I've switched to my cardboard, which is thicker and I use it for the fuselage. I'm going to use delete to get rid of the two parts that I already cut and let's bring in that new body and switch to a different setting uh, to cut it out because the cardboard takes a little bit more effort than that little bit of tag board I get. There's our fuselage. I'm going to just drop it in down below the other one. Pretty good use of my cardboard. Let's check the settings. I'm going to go to cardboard three and then I'm going to double check the numbers. Uh, 155. Once again, I'm going to take this up to 25. I think 30 might have been overkill. And I'm going to save that as cardboard 3 instead of making a new one. And let's cut it out and see what we get. All right, so world, here is version 2. Uh, once again, you may notice this is super similar to version 1, but that's because I want you, uh, my students, anybody out there in the world, I want you to come up with the epic designs. So you've got that moment where you can say, aha, I tried this and finally it succeeded. You have fails in the middle. 
All right, so let's give it a test flight. Still not perfect, but we're making progress. And friends, that's what it's all about. I want us to all work together and see what we can do to make the most epic laser cut flyers. Friends, thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please hit that like button. If you haven't hit subscribe, what are you waiting for? Hammer that subscribe button. If you got a question or a comment, leave it down below and hit that notification bell so you can be the first to know when there's a brand new movie from me, HL My Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.